Um, Professor Warswick, I um, want to share with you why this is of particular interest to me. You shared earlier that when the temporary resident population went from 786,000 to 3 million, you called that going off the rails. In my community, there's a college that has raised their population of international students from 760 some odd uh, to over 30,000 within a decade. And so that has had significant impacts in my community. You spoke about the ability to absorb. The ability of my community to absorb that population growth has um, been challenged. My question for you, over a year ago, I put forward a number of measures that I've been able to work with the minister on. Some of them have been, four have been put forward. A number haven't. And so I'm looking to continue to build support for these. I'd like to put one of those to you. And that is to have designated learning uh, institutions that have more than 15% of international students who never actually enroll in a course, um, that there would be maybe a limiting of visas from IRC C to those DLIs. That's something that a, a number of countries have already done around the world. Canada hasn't yet. Is that something that's on your radar already? And is there a comment you'd like to share with the committee on a proposal like, like that? It, it seems like a very good idea to me. I think there's a real concern that our international student program at times is turning into a de facto temporary foreign worker program, which is not the intent. So I, I would support what you've told me about it anyway. 